What's up guys? Welcome to a new LumaFusion tutorial. You have already seen today's topic in the preview. So we are creating a new transition. I would simply call it the warp through transition because we are warping the image to go into the next clip. <laughs> Just kidding. But we are not only creating the transition itself, we also saved them as a preset so we could easily use them and apply them later to our clips. It's a pretty basic transition, but I like basic transitions because sometimes less is more, you know, um, and you could easily apply them to a lot of clips and use them in a lot of projects. That's what, why I like those easy, simple transitions. And as always, you will find this transition in my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. The Ultimate Bundle contains all of my intros, transitions, sound effects, low thirds, LUTs, all you will need for a good LumaFusion project. Link to the bundle is down below. And for all those who already own the bundle, just load the update and you will have the newest version. And before we are jumping into LumaFusion, please give this video a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to don't miss any video in future. But now let's jump into LumaFusion. So guys, welcome to LumaFusion. I've already created a new project. I will give you a short overview of my settings. So we have a frame rate of 30 FPS. Um, that's what I would recommend always for creating presets because it's a very common frame rate. But you could of course choose your own frame rates. Then you just have to change the length of the transition area. We are starting by cutting away 10 frame clips at the end of the first clip at the end at the beginning of the second clip. Now double tap the end of the first clip and go to color and effects because we are doing all the effects in this tab. So no motion tab, just the color and effects tab because it's easier to adjust presets when you just have to add ones of them, not two. Now go to this tab here and add distort effect. First change the angle to 90 degrees. Be precise, it has to be exactly 90 degrees. Then go over to the first frame and add a keyframe. Now change the radius to zero and scale to one. And now move on to the last frame and change radius to 2 and scale to 0 0.6. That's it for the distort effect. So it's stretching our image. Then we have to add the big pinch. And we are again setting a keyframe at the beginning and reducing scale to 0 and leaving radius at 0 0.28. Then a keyframe at the last frame and we are changing the radius to 0.21 and the scale to 0.2. So just a little, little effect, but it gives a nice pinch in the middle of the image. And then we are adding just some motion blurs. The first one will be the short zoom. We are setting a keyframe at the beginning with the amount of zero and a keyframe at the end with the amount of five. And the last one will be motion 20. We can set a keyframe at the end and change the radius to two and one at the beginning with the radius of zero. So this is just a additional little, little motion blur, which gives a little nicer view and that's it with the first part of the transition. So now the second part is just the same, but the opposite. So we are starting with the effect and then fading out into nothing, <laughs> well, no effect. So again, we are adding the distort effect. We're setting a keyframe at the beginning with a radius of two and a scale of 0 0.6. And of course, we're changing the angle to 90 degrees. And then 
go to the last frame and change the radius to zero and scale to one. Next one will be again the big pinch. Set a keyframe at the beginning with a radius of 2.1. and a scale of 0 0.2. So radius 0 0.21 and scale 0 0.2. And at the end, you have a radius of 0 0.28 and a scale of 0. And then again, the motion blur settings, short zoom, so the keyframe at the beginning with the amount of 5 and at the end amount of 0. And the motion 20. Set a keyframe at the beginning with a radius of 2 and at the end radius 0. And that's it. Now we've got a pretty nice transition which I would call the warp through because it warps the image and yeah. Now in order to save them as a preset we are going back into our FX tab and we are clicking on the star with the plus and we could save this preset as a, our own user preset. We could just call it simply warp through one because this is the first part of the transition. Then click on the star with the plus and it's saved to your user presets, which you can easily apply afterwards. I won't do that because I've already done it. I will show it to you. So I'm deleting all the presets. There's no effect right now. And to apply those user presets, go to the star in the top right corner and select the preset you've got, warp through one, and all the effects are applied. Do the same with the second one, just call it warp through two, and that's it, and you're done. I hope you guys like this tutorial, so please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials you want to have in LumaFusion, please write a comment. I will read all of them. And if there are nice things I want to create in LumaFusion, I will do it for you because it's like kind of challenge for me and it's a bit fun. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Enjoy the time with your family. Calm down, relax a bit, um, let the year fade out relaxing. We will see each other again in the new year. Have fun. Till then, bye.